Today we are going to be talking about composting toilets. We fabricated this one ourselves after watching lots of videos, watched how they operate. We went ahead and made this. I had leftover marine board from doing our slide out, so I used that here so it's a thicker, it's a more waterproof wood. Uh, we also put some oil on it, linseed oil, that's right. If you look inside here, we're going to have a couple of little components. I structured some walls here. Uh, this is where our bucket's going to sit. Over here, I put in some L brackets. That's where our battery's going to sit. A 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery. Non-spillable, so we don't have to worry about it making a mess when we're bouncing around the road. And as you can see here, this bucket right here, I made this so this can actually lift up. And the way this is also designed is it's only going to be held to the floor by three screws. Um, that'll allow us to take this out every once in a while and clean it. So what we're going to do now is attach a little bag. You don't have to use a Kirkland's milk jug. We can use other things. We have a funnel for, that attaches to the bottom. Wood chips go in there before we start doing business. about how everything's going to fit. So now we're going to go ahead and install it. These are the kind of bags we're using. We just got them at Walmart and that was, what was that honey AutoZone or? It was AutoZone and it was like five bucks. Yeah. All right so this fits. Hit it! This is us engineering things. After watching many, many, many examples. But not, you know, we haven't actually used it yet. We'll probably let you know whether we like it or not. <laughs> what we did wrong. <laughs> Trial by fire. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about the ventilation system. Uh, the first thing we did was we ordered a computer fan. And I built a housing unit here just to keep it um, attached to the wall. There's also a stud here which keeps everything anchored really well. Um, I also had to splice in uh, a negative and a positive hookup in on the other side. All right, so what we did was we made this out of Schedule 40 PVC. Um, our fan comes from over here, um, pushes the air out. The pipe going up and down, it goes from the black tank to the ceiling and that is where it originally ventilated out. So we were gonna use the same pieces we had there. I used some slip fittings, rubber slip fittings, just to get everything tight together. So this thing is not gonna move. A little construction note. Um, you notice we have the old flange here in case someone wanted to install the original toilet back in. It is possible. We did not tamper with any of those systems except for the actual inlet, they're gonna to have to rerun it because right now it is capped. But uh, in order to cover that space, the first layer I added a hole on the bottom and then I put another layer on top so to hide it. So now is the fun part. I made sure I wasn't going to hit any uh, tanks or anything like that while we were building this. The screws I'm using are just long enough without doing anything too crazy. So we have that. Now I gotta go grab my battery. And as you can tell, the fan is fully operational. And now to put in the bucket and we will have a completely finished system. Once again it slides in pretty well. Make sure everything is lined up. I mean it's a standard toilet so it's got the same front end. It's not an elongated front so it is not male friendly. It is a little higher up. ADA toilets are set at 17 and a half. Um, where the seat is, is 17 and a half. So it's actually ADA friendly for you older folks who have knee issues. 
and there she is. It's not squatty potty friendly. It is not squatty potty friendly. So we're not that hardcore. So that's better. No black tank mess. And it's gross. So I'm kind of grateful for this system. And I am actually looking forward to giving it a try. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.